Peace, guys. I want to talk about empaths and how to know if you are one and also to learn how to harness this power because a lot of articles and videos always talk about empaths, we feel everything, we take in everybody else's energy and they make it seem as though it's a weakness. But what I want to channel with you today or provide some information with you today is how to utilize that energy for your benefit and there's also a key to impasse that a lot of people don't know now first i want to just talk about how i found out that i was an impasse and i found out by accident right because nothing really happens by accident but i would always find myself being very sensitive to other people's moods their thoughts their energy right now for instance you ever walk into a place let's say for instance you wake up you feel like you're in a great mood you're ready to take on a day right and you go into this place and you don't know why but you just feel like there's clutter there's a whole bunch of noise or um, energetic noise going on inside of your head and suddenly you start feeling either frustrated angry depressed and you don't know why or where this energy is coming from nine times out of ten that energy don't belong to you that energy is something that you are picking up from somebody else you can also be picking up the moods and the energies from animals from plants not just people and sometimes certain objects may have certain energies on them you know if you touch an energy or you touch an object that let's say for instance um somebody who has arthritis or who's going through a lot of pains whether it's physical pain um emotional pain you can pick up on that energy right and i never used to fully understand this until i stumbled upon an article that was talking about empathy and how people who are empaths are able to literally feel what somebody else is feeling we can tell when somebody is lying to us Right? It's like an in, a inner um, lie detector that we have inside of ourselves. So I don't want to jump the gun. Let me just like name some of the things to know that you're an empath or some signs that you may be an empath. Okay. One. Empaths are sensitive to physical energy. Now, this can be, let's say, for instance, um, you can be highly connected to somebody, or not even, it could be a complete stranger. A stranger talks to you on the street, and you start feeling some type of pain in your body, and you don't know why. And next thing you know, that person ends up saying, oh, yeah, I've been having this really bad back pain for the longest, and it won't go away. Next thing you know, you're starting to feel some back pain that you never had before. Never suffer from no types of back pains, but now your back is killing you and you don't know why. It's because you picked up that person's energy. Even hugging certain people, like giving out hugs. You got to be very careful with who you hug because when you hug someone, there's a spiritual connection that you exchange with that person. You are embracing and taking in and exchanging their energy. So... A lot of the times, even though you may be feeling your best, it's an energy exchange. So realize that while you're taking in this person's pain and suffering, they can also be taking some of your good energy from you. And you have to know and learn how to guard yourself and how to not allow people to take that energy from you. Because as an empath, you are extremely powerful. Okay, now, yes, empaths, we do take in people's thoughts and their energies, but at the same time, what they don't tell you is that you can put your energy, your thoughts, your emotions into anybody, anything, and I'm going to tell you how. <laughs> First thing is this. You got to learn how to take back your power of being an empath. It's time for us to stop feeling like we're the victim because we've taken everybody else's energy. No. 
it's time to be assertive and it's time to get our way and also to project our energy or our will into other people. Now, some people may say, well, that's not ethical. Well, hmm, it really depends on how you feel about that. Everybody's morals and ethics are different. But I know one thing, I don't like to be a victim of nobody else's energies or their emotions. So, with that being said, let's say, for instance, you working at a job, right? And your manager or your supervisor, your boss, whoever, right? They're really hard to communicate with. They're hard to, like, get your way. You want a day off. You want a raise. But that person is just not getting it through their skull. So this is what you do. You... See that person in your mind's eye, your third eye, or your first eye, right? And you visualize that person physically, and you imagine yourself going inside of that person. You know, you literally put yourself in their shoes, in their body. How is this person feeling physically? How is this person feeling emotionally? What drives this person? Why are they the way that they are? And you literally find yourself putting your spirit inside of them. And once you feel a connection, a link that you are that person now, you're inside of them, that's when you project your mental energy onto them. That's when you put your energetic vibration into them. So let's say, for instance, my let's say my manager's name is Bob, right? I want Bob to listen to me. I want Bob to give me that raise. I want Bob to get me that promotion. So, you have to have a strong enough will to know exactly what it is that you want and what you want to get from Bob, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus in on Bob. I'm going to focus on his motives, his weaknesses, his strengths, what drives Bob. And so, once I make that connection, I'm going to project my mental energy onto him. All right, so now I'm Bob. So, now I'm going to make, I'm going to give her a raise. A matter of fact, I'm going to triple I'm going to triple her salary. You know why? Because I'm going to start to make myself start liking this person. And you project that onto the person. And next thing you know, that person, their whole entire energy will be different. And it, sometimes it may not just take one time. You've got to keep doing it. you got to build momentum. And the more you start doing it, the more natural it's going to come to you. Where you're not going to have to continually project that energy. It's just going to be like a snap of a finger. It's done. You're going to get your way with whomever, whatever you want. However, I do want to say with this power, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. You don't want to be doing all types of craziness with this power, but I am here to tell you that it's time to reclaim your power as an empath and start projecting your energy onto other people, okay? Also, make sure that you are wearing protective crystals with you at all times. Protective crystals can really, it has to resonate with your body. Start studying crystals. Black tourmaline. I always talk about black tourmaline in a lot of my videos because do not underestimate the power of black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is very grounding. It will ground you. It will keep you centered so that you won't be all over the place, so that your energy won't be sucked in and, and just like oozing out of you. And that was one of my issues. I didn't, when I first got into this, I did not understand that your energy is so valuable and you have to, you have to suck your energy in tight. I have a friend, he's a cancer just like me. And he was like, you know what your problem is? He said, you're too giving of your energy. You need to learn how to tighten up your energy, your auric field, and ground yourself. So he told me, he said, and this exercise really works, guys, I'm telling you. He says, you need to put yourself in a very relaxed state, whether you're meditating or whatever, and imagine that there's some type of cord coming from, like, your root chakra, going down into the center of the earth and going into the core. And at the core, there's like a crystal or a rock or a stone that's keeping you grounded to the core of the earth. When you do this, that means that no matter how much you grow, no matter where you go or nothing, you're always going to be centered and, and grounded into the earth. 
So nothing will be able to sweep you off your feet or catch you off guard or suck your energy or pull you out of yourself. You have to ground yourself. Grounding is everything. So, empaths. Even wearing certain colors, you know what I'm saying? Um, to shield yourself, to uh, ground yourself, like probably darker colors. Because darker colors will help you to keep things more hidden or, or to yourself. And it's not to say, oh, cover yourself up all the time. Also, your hair. Sometimes you got to cover your head, you know, cover your head. Your hair is the antenna to the spiritual world, to the cosmos. These are your antennas. These are your receptors. This is how you pull in energy and also how energy can be taken from you. So be careful with who touches your head, who touches your hair. Don't let strangers just come and try to play with your hair. This is also why I stopped allowing everybody to touch, like do my hair, braid my hair. Like you end up having all these different energies inside of your head and that's why you're wondering why your thoughts is all over the place. Why are you scatterbrained? Why can't you focus on one thing at a time? Because you're picking up on everybody else's mental energy that does not belong to you. You have to release that. You have to let that go. So empath, it's time to take back our power. It's time to stop allowing people to put, project their energy inside of us. Oh, also another thing, be careful with attracting toxic people toxic relationships because nine times out of ten because we're natural healers and we're excellent listeners because we have the power to be very receptive and passive and listen and people can just feel that like strangers would just walk up to you in, a, in the street and just start telling you their whole life story you know it's okay to listen to people's problems from time to time but don't allow people to just dump all of their spiritual junk onto you because it doesn't belong to you. No one to say no. No one to walk away when somebody is just like being a chatterbox and just telling you all their problems and they don't even have the decency to just ask you, hey, how are you, how are you doing? How was your day? You know, like, do you have time to listen to me? So sometimes, you know, we don't be having time. We have our own problems. And being a natural empath, which is really nice. And I'm learning myself that self comes first. You know, if you're not right uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, if you're going through something right now, sometimes you can't be there for other people because you got your own things going on. So it's okay to, to stop them and be like, listen, you know, um, I'm sorry what's going on with you, but right now I really can't. I'm going through something and I just have to process. I need time to process. I need space right now. And... Most people are not going to understand that because a lot of people are very um, um, narcissistic or very um, egotistical and they just think everything's about themselves. So they're not going to understand that you need space. And that's okay because then you're weaning out the people that's just selfish and they care about themselves. And that's not what we're here for. We're not here to heal selfish people. You know, like, yeah, we can probably help them, but at the same time, these type of people will keep taking from you. Energetic vampires taking and taking and taking and taking until, like, you have nothing else to give. And even then, they'll still try to take whatever they can, the very last inkling of the life force that you have inside of you. But it's time to cut those people off. It's time to do for us. It's time to recharge. It's so important that you recharge yourself. Before you go out into the world, you have to ground yourself. You have to physically see a white light around you. And you have to, you know, take your spiritual baths, meditate, deep breathing. Allow that energy to come in and release it out. As you're inhaling, you're breathing in good vibrations. And when you're exhaling, you're releasing all the toxins out of you. Out of you. So... And past, this is our time. We have the power to read people. We know when people are lying to us. We can see right through them. Listen to your intuition. If somebody's talking to you and you know something ain't right, nine times out of ten, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Your intuition never lies. Start trusting yourself more. Start believing. Start trusting your instincts. Start Start trusting yourself. 
And a lot of the times we just want to give people the benefit of the doubt, right? How many times have we done that? We There was like some type of radar that went off inside of us that said, uh, don't talk to that person. But then here that, that person come with a smile on their face and they'd be like, oh, they don't seem so bad. Let me just give them a shot. Womp womp. Later on you find out that that person is full of sugar honey iced tea. And then some, right? So... Listen to your instincts. Listen to that inner lie detector that you have inside of you. Stop allowing people to keep taking from you. And remember to use all of that love that you have and replenish yourself. You can't give people, you can't keep giving people your energy because you have to drink of your own cup. If your cup is empty, how are you going to keep giving to other people, let alone yourself? So you got to make sure that you're able to drink. You got to make sure that you don't die of thirst. You got to make sure that you're good so that you can take care of and help other people. You're not here to heal people. You're here to co-heal because you can't heal a person without their consent. You can help them as much as you can, but at the end of the day, it's up to them to want to heal themselves. So that's all for today. Remember, guys, use those empathic power to empower yourself and to get what you need to succeed until next time peace